What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2023 Topps Chrome Jumbo 8-box case break. Pikachu's number 25, guys. And this might be our last case, guys. We don't have any more available to repost. I'm not sure when we're going to get more. So just know Topps Chrome Cosmics comes out Wednesday, so we might be focusing on that for a little bit. And then Ryan got Cardinals, and he also got the Yankees for second last spot mojo right there as well. So double last spot mojo. There you go, man. Good luck. And again, guys, obviously, like I said, this is our last case here. I didn't see any more in the back available to post, so this is it. So let's end it off with a bang, right?
Tatis Jr. to 299 for the Padres. Tovar. That is a uh, super sharp print, actually. Rock is going to Jeremy. Nice Shohei Otani. That's over 100 bucks back in the MVP buyback. David, there you go. I mean, you might get more of it. So straight up, but. Nice there. So show hit base. And Nick Prato to 250 purple. Royals. Winner Brandon. Tyler Stevenson base. Set, right? I mean, he just probably like, okay, competition. But uh, I think, I think Acuna fans are upset that Mookie's now the favorite to win MVP. They always want to bring up the whole, oh, well, what about his stolen bases? Well, Jeff Passan, I think, is over this weekend upset a lot of fans with, uh, with uh, you know, with all the stats he threw out there. Even with the stolen bases. I don't know. I've always said, like, I think Acuna a few weeks back for sure, especially when this product came out, probably definitely would have won. But I don't know. Mookie's playing lights out right now, man. Yeah, definitely Acuna MVP betters are definitely not happy. I don't know if, like, Acuna would be upset about that. I mean, I'm sure he's focusing on winning more than anything. But yeah, it's not going to be Runaway Acuna anymore. That's the only reason why, too, I also haven't been sleeving up like Acuna base and stuff like that. Because honestly, it, it could not even be him. I think Otani, it's safe to say it's going to be him. Was Niski. But Acuna, you know, that stuff like that. I've just been kind of just flying through it just because it's base, right? I mean, until we know. Starling Marte to 299. 
I mean, actually, the Dodgers are playing right now. They were down three to four the last time I was watching it during lunch. Let's see. I think they're... Oh, they're up 6-4 now. Oh, nice. James Alvin hit a home run. So did Hayward. Freddie Freeman homer tonight. Max Muncy hit a homer tonight. I mean, Freddie Freeman's also playing lights out, too. He's batting like 341 now. Oh, yeah, no, I don't think so, man. Honestly, I mean, like I said, I'm sure he definitely would love to win it, but, but yeah, I think right now it's definitely a lot closer now, and like I said, I would, I mean, I'm maybe biased, but I'd give the edge to Mookie. I just don't like to factor in, like, stolen bases, because to me, man, they made it so much easier this year, so it's like, of course people should put up crazy numbers, you know? But, whatever. Freeman's just boring. Dude, he has he already has over 50 doubles. And we still have the whole month of September to play. He's batting 341 right now. <laughs> that dude is also a beast. That shouldn't. Playing baseball, you don't have to have swag, man. Come on. That's going to be the difference for you. Jose Abreu. I mean, does does uh, does Otani have swag? I don't think Otani has swag. I mean, Freddie Freeman's one of the older guys. Marcus Wilson. Tim Anderson with an MVP, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, he's also a pretty good first baseman. Don't be selling him short, man. Come on. But yeah, you want to you wanna talk about dynamic? Yeah, Mookie's playing second base, outfield, and shortstop at times. I don't know if Acuna plays in. So I think Acuna just plays outfield, does he? But, I mean, Mookie's playing like three different positions sometimes. Batten. And Yoshida. Nice one at 350 there for the Red Sox, man, Steven. Freeman. I think he's so good. I think he's just been doing it for such a long time. You know, I think for that reason too. But um, 
I mean, honestly, Dodger fans love both of them, man. I mean, you hear just as loud as crowd uh, cheers for Mookie as you do Freeman when you go to games in LA. You know, they're they're both fan favorites, honestly, and I think the Dodgers are just happy to have both of those guys, Dodger fans too. But yeah, if I had to pick one, I think I'd give it to Mookie right now. But I think Freeman. I think Freeman, of course, is uh. Oh, that's all. Well, that's probably why you hate Freddie Freeman now, then. Because he left you guys. That makes sense. That totally makes sense. You probably have a little salt. You feel a little salty still, probably. I would definitely take Mookie and Freeman in a heartbeat. Olsen's great too, but I mean, he's just been hitting dingers, right? I don't know what his other stats are. I, I don't think his batting average is the craziest either. Uh, Riley Green. To 99. Yeah, I think he leads in RBIs too, I want to say. But I don't know about his other stats. I mean, there's a reason why he hasn't... There's a reason why he probably hasn't been in MVP conversation. But although he should be, right? I mean... I think he leads in homers and RBIs. Yeah, I remember hearing about that, the whole the agent problem. I mean, at the end of the day, I think I think in the beginning, I think at some point he didn't want to leave, but he probably also felt conflicted, you know, because you know, obviously he wanted to come back home. But at the end of the day, I mean, it is what it is now, and I'm sure he's just as happy to be here now right now. I don't know. I'm going to ask you guys. Who would you guys take? That's a great question. Mookie Freeman or you'll take Olsen uh, Acuna? The one thing I will say, though, about Acuna is that although he hasn't been injured this year, right? I mean, he has dealt with injuries, though. All right, Yanner Diaz is Astros Michael. Albies. Yeah, there's good. Nice. Yeah, that's the Ray Wave, I think. All right. Last box, and we'll go to the next four. Yeah, Ryan. They're hiding a little bit, but we're gonna we're gonna look for them right now. Don't worry. Palacios. Good thing is that we still have this box, and then we still have four more, too. Pascantino to 75. Yamava. Yamava. Yeah, I think the Dodgers play the Braves this week, right? That's going to be a big series right there, because obviously, I'd assume that... You know, now that we're getting down to the last month of baseball, a Braves-Dodgers matchup could be preview for what to expect in the playoffs, but also, too, I mean, whichever player performs better against each other, right? I mean, could, could end up being the difference. Anderson Espinosa. I want to say they play Thursday. Thursday through Sunday, right? Or Friday through Sunday, one of those this weekend. Oswaldo Cabrera. There you go. That's a little Yankee. Look at that. He's still hiding from you, Ryan. It's a negative. <laughs> and something. Woo! There you go, Ryan. They're hiding. Well, now they're starting to pop up. Volpe Refractor. Autograph. Ooh, that Yanner's over 100 bucks. Sick. There you go. Harold with the Yanks. 
Ooh, Otani Refractor, that's 40 bucks right there. So just a little check. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that's that's twelve, right? One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. All right. All right, Dodgers have two men on base. Bottom of the seventh, no outs. Yeah, I don't think Mookie today, I think he's like 0 for 3, no? I don't think he's had a hit today. What's up, Duncan? How you doing, man? Yeah, Betts had a walk and a strikeout. Uh, he might be betting at least one more time. Well, Brian actually got the last spot in the Panini 1 R&B straight up. So now, actually, that break is a little closer than the Big Hit Express. If we sell out the pack, or we sell out the pack filler, which is at 22 left, we can break open some Panini 1 football. So, ball's in your court if you guys want to do that. No, man, that's it, no more jumbo. This is the last case we can post, or we could have posted. The other case that's there is Joe's about to break it on Fanatics. So, our time with jumbo might have come to an end. Now, I'm not gonna say we're never gonna get more again, but I don't plan for us to get any more anytime soon. Especially with Cosmic coming out on Wednesday. I'm pretty sure we're gonna shift to more Cosmic. And then Bowman Chrome comes out in a few weeks. So, I don't know. I mean, it does feel like a bummer, but it's not like, not that we didn't do enough. <laughs> we probably well did well over like 150 cases of Top Chrome. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't really say when we're gonna get more. But this is probably the most of Top Chrome we've ever done. Like in one year of a, of a product. So. I had fun doing this, it was great. I don't know, maybe Nick's like, damn, if you guys really want more, I'll find more.
Nice, James Altman with a big hit. Bringing in Peralta. Well, they kind of added more things to Cosmic this year. And uh, it's a little bit more expensive than last year's to start off. Cause I feel like they kind of enhanced it a little bit. I know there's a couple little tweaks, but I don't know if they added more autographs and cases. I know last year was literally, literally like maybe one, maybe two, but I don't know, to be honest. I mean, honestly, if they still do Ben Baller edition this year, I can't wait for that because I really love 2022 Ben Baller. That was a hit. Like, I mean, at least on Instagram, I think it was like we did a lot of Ben Baller. And I'm pretty sure we did it a lot here, too, but. I would love 2023 Ben Baller, especially if they just make it look exactly the same as last year. Like, the first couple years of Ben Baller were great, but last year's the black borders and stuff like that was just so sick. I would love for them to bring back Ben Baller and just do 2023 version of it, which I'm sure they will. That shit would be fire. That one was great, because although you had rookie autographs, you also had, like, vets, and it was just, like, a very small checklist for autographs, too. Yeah, I think that's the reason why. I mean, they did a much better job this year. You know, obviously quality control in the sense of, like, you know, they didn't forget anything for the most part. I mean, 2022 Chrome, although it was, like, a very, very loaded class, it was just such a disaster. And it's cool that they brought back the MVP again program, which is great. They definitely made up with it. Made up for 2022 with this 2023. Yeah, also, yeah, also, that's true. Very little redemptions, too. Yeah, I will say, I mean, just like anything else, there's been some really, really loaded cases, and then there's been some very bad cases, but I think you can kind of expect that with a lot of products, honestly. All right, here we go, guys. Last four. All right, we got Brian Servin. To 299. That's for the Rockies and Jeremy. CJ Crone to 199. Another one there for the Rockies. And J1 Bay for the Pirates. Going to Caitlin. To 150. Another Otani Basin. Whoa, Acuna Titans Green. Uh, number to 99. 97 out of 99. That's sick. Through Hicklin. Prism. Garrett Mitchell there. All 
Alright, let's continue on, guys. Next box. We got Eaton. Austin Hayes. Oh, that low, yeah, Lover, right? He was a bigger prospect at the time too, right? Is he is he is he actually playing now with Pirates? Stone Garrett. I don't feel like I've ever pulled too many Stone Garretts. Washington going to Steve. Julio to 99. Oh, awesome. So the Mariners. Mariners is Kev. And an orange, Jonathan Aranda. AJ getting the raise. Nice one out of 25. Damn, he's yeah, he's still really young then. Freddie Freeman, Refractor. Caleb Killian. Yeah, I think the checklist is out. I didn't go through them earlier, but I kind of showed people what to expect in that cosmic. Like the preview of some of the card designs. It's on Beckett, Duncan, if you go to Beckett's website. Nice! Oscar Colas to 150. Yeah, there's Cosmic Tacos. White Sox. Let's go to Steve. Max Mayer. I don't know, I'm kind of done with all the Juan Franco stuff for people. More stuff starting to come out that doesn't even make sense. So I'm just annoyed with that already. I'm just waiting for the investigation to happen so that way it's either true or it's not and then we can go back to normal Juan Franco stuff, if that's the case. Rex said that those dudes that he's seen that the woman is actually 21 years old and that they were dating and she was 14 when they first dated. I'm like, okay, well if she's 21 now, that was what? Seven years ago? That means Wander Franco was underage. He's only 22. I don't... It just doesn't add up to me, bro. It's just weird. Caleb Hamilton. That she's 21 now and she has two kids. But when they were dating, they were, she was 14. Bro, that was like eight years ago then. <laughs> that means he was also a minor. This 
This whole thing does not make sense. Last box, guys. Corey Lee. Nice break for Houston. Got a couple of blue railways. And Juan Soto. Juan Soto. Darvish. Varlin. Are the green refractor? Ooh. Nice, that's two of these for the Angels. David. Oh, I almost made your money back with just the two Otanis. And you got all the base, you got a silver or a refractor too. Nice. There we go. And Stefanik, more for the Angels. Maybe MVP. It's not a lot of Cunha no more. All right. Well, Ryan, sorry I couldn't get your stuff on the other one, but I'm glad you got the Yankees because the Yankees actually are the ones that showed up today. Your Mets didn't want to show up today. All righty, guys. Well, I'll do a quick recap. As your Mets didn't show up this year either. Sorry. Sorry. How to say it. How to say it. All right, so Stefanik, Hamilton, Lee, Varlin, Tani, Color, Killian, Colas. Oh, that's right, you did get the Cardinals too. Garrett, Arondo, Picklin. Servin, Bay, Titans, Green, Yoshida. There's another Otani. Double them. Let's go. That's a super short print, Tovar. Wozniski, Walters, or Water, sorry, Aguilar, Prato, Toglea, Batten, Wilson, uh, Bride, Palacios, there's the Volpe, uh, Espinosa, Yonder Diaz, and then there's a Otani Refractor. So there you go. And of course, a lot of nice numbered stuff here, too. Plus, any Otani base and just in general. Yeah, there was like at least four or five Latanis, maybe? Yeah, there was quite a few in this case, actually. Actually, more than that. Let me see. Two, three, four, five. Damn, this one actually had a lot of Latanis. Six, seven, seven Otani base. That's wild. Usually only see like four or five. Seven. Plus the two colors. That's a great buyback program for you. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you so much. Like I said, I don't see any more in the back, so I'm not going to repost it. If we get more, we'll repost it. But again, if you love Topps Chrome, another version, another skew of it coming out on Wednesday. Cosmic. If you want to check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com.